welcome back guys uh, this is safe trader um, and we shall look at today's trade and also analyze the trades for tomorrow okay so first of all let's see what has actually happened it has you know one good thing that you have to remember is that entire uh, day european markets yesterday and also um, night during the night entire day they were completely down and sgxc nifty was down by somewhere around 120 points initially so imagine everyone was expecting a gap down situation however uh, there was a strong support around this zone in nifty and it has opened a gap up now from there it was completely sideways completely sideways and i also updated in our intraday levels in bank nifty and nifty that you know please go with this trend line and only above this or if there is a breakout above this we can take an entry okay or if it falls down falls down below this black line which is 16,554 I clearly asked you to take a trade below this now look at this so if if you have actually waited for this trend line on the upside you know here I don't see any entry because it hasn't actually broken on the upper side or the trend line isn't broken at all so what is the next thing that you could have plotted so this is where we had a breakdown right this is where we had a breakdown now how many points of rally we had from the breakdown if you look at we had about 114 points of rally on the downside in nifty alone so if you were to take an entry here you would have been at least in a profit of 5000 per lot in nifty alone so that was the kind of setup we were talking about initially okay so and as, as i said you know we need to go with this target but however once we made at least around 70 to 80 points and this was a huge rally and then we could have actually trailed in nifty so and how about tomorrow's trade so in nifty we are not going to change our levels as i said even yesterday and today also we will still wait for this trend line we will wait for this trend line completely and once this completely trend line is broken above 16554 we are going to target for 16,748 with a minor resistance around yesterday's high okay which is around 16,680 so this is going to be our first target and this is going to be our second target on the upper side so any downside momentum which is closing below 16,440 this is when we will take a trade on the bottom and then go with the target of 16,000 359 and below this i will not take any trade i will avoid trading because tomorrow is going to be uh expiry day we might see some huge momentum and end of the day we might even see lots of premium decay so we want to avoid that so what is our take now we will wait for this trend line to break if this is breaking we'll take a trade and go with the target of today's high or yesterday's high which is around 16683 okay and then above this we'll have a second target at 16748 okay now what about bank nifty bank nifty i clearly said in the morning itself if you look at our intraday uh, setup that i explained this is a setup that i was actually explaining this is a three touch pattern at the bottom on a swing low pattern which is like a rubber band strategy that i was talking about so most of the times most of the times if you see a strategy like this you should see an up movement at least to the latest high so this was the latest high so this was uh, the place where you should actually keep your target and stop loss will be the 25 percent of the target so something like this so your stop loss would have been somewhere here 35 160 but your target is around 300 points now after that we had a rally right so if you actually look at this we had a rally of how many points somewhere around 400 points on the upper side so and now after that it was completely sideways just like in nifty it was completely sideways not giving us an entry at all to buy anything around this zone after that we had a breakout once it is broken this particular zone on the trending line okay and now once that was broken we had a beautiful breakout on the downside we are able to see on the downside momentum up to 35 445 
and the second one is 35306 and i clearly explained as well again in the morning that i am not going to sell anything around this zone at all completely i am not going to go on a put side now after testing this support level it has immediately zoomed to kiss this particular perfect level which i was talking about as well so if you look at this particular one 35698 or 700 level was already touched and moreover if you look at the trend line that i was talking about in the morning okay so look at the trend line it has broken that trend line now it is trying to take a retest so tomorrow if it opens a gap up or a flat kind of thing okay even if it opens flat or if it opens a gap up we will go with the target of 35929 okay and then above this will go with the target of 36100 okay 36100 so i will have to pull it a little bit down okay so that is going to be our next target so these are the two targets we will try in the morning and then if it breaks here if it breaks 36100 on the upper side we will not immediately enter into any call but we will wait for some good price action probably you know it might play sometimes here and either can give us a breakdown or can give us a breakout so based on that setup we will take either a put option or a call option on the upside if it is an upside movement it will go with the target of some 600 points of rally on the upper side if it is actually giving us a breakdown we will go with a target of 35,929 and again we will go with this trend line on the downside here okay so probably around 35,635 is going to be our next take on this so once this is touched we expect uh, either a reverse momentum or a breakdown again so we will wait for multiple levels here if this is giving us a breakdown first target second target and third target okay now if it is giving us a breakout here this is going to be based on the price action this is going to be our target so but morning as soon as it breaks you know this trend line or if it is a gap gap up situation we can immediately take a call option to target 35,929 okay so this is going to be our analysis for tomorrow hope uh, we have not changed any levels from the intraday so the levels are going to remain same and we are not going to change anything for that matter okay so hope you liked this video content if you liked it please do like share and subscribe to our channel thank you so much and you have a great day ahead